all right guys so welcome to my channel this is angel with angel spiritual messages um, i am going to do a no contact read for the sign of libra and libra placements for um, december 31st to january 7th um, just a quick energy check guys so what i do is i will pull s some um, hidden truth oracles clarify with some island time wellness and then put some tarot on it to give you a clear and precise um message um just keep in mind guys if um this doesn't resonate with you please check your other placements um also energy is fluid so it um can be reversed please reverse it as you need to and if you like my message and you like my style please go ahead like share and subscribe let's go ahead and get into it um spirit i am looking for a message for um the sign of libra um on this no contact with their person if you would spirit please provide me with um the message that the person that libra is in no contact with and what would they like to say with to libra Spirit, what would this person like to say to Libra? What would this person like to say to Libra? All right, let's see. What does this person want to say to Libra? Spirit, what does this person want to say to Libra? What messages do they have for Libra? There you go. Okay, they gave a few. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have, I couldn't let you get close to me. Next message is going to be, I want you. Next message, I can't stop thinking about you. And I know I was a distraction from your pain. And the next message is, we both know I am not for you. Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> here's what I'm getting from this is that um, Libra, you're dealing with someone that has a lot of in internal insecurities. Okay, um, this person really, really wants you and they want to develop something um, with you. But the fear of them feeling that they're not good enough for you um, overwhelms them. Um, it looks like this person met you um, at a vulnerable time in their life where they probably came out of a situation um, that was not so good for them, where the person that they um, were with may have taken advantage of them. Um, and then you showed them kindness and greatness um, and um, you open your heart to them. And this person closed theirs um, in the process and out of fear. Um, it looks like... Um, we both know I'm not the one for you. It, you may be um, a lot more solid and um, grounded and mature um, in your life than this person. Um, and this person feels um, an insecurity regarding that. Um, I don't think you have uh, done anything um, with regard to making them feel that way, basically because they're, th they're saying, I want you. And I can't stop thinking about you. So you done nothing to make this person feel insecure about this situation. You were willing to work with this person in who they were and accept them for who they were. But unfortunately, their insecurities is blocking this situation. OK, uh, I know I was a distraction from your pain. I, pretty much this person just has not um, accepted that. It, this is a real situation and that you, in fact, do care about them. They are just in their heads. They I mean, poor thing, this poor person, whether it is um, you, Libra, or it is the cross watcher is just struggling with trying to um, get out of their head about everything. So can I clarify this uh, spirit with um, some island time wellness? Help me understand more about this message for Libra. Help me understand more about this message for Libra. More about this message for Libra spirit. Yeah, this poor little person. I feel bad because like 
this person is just in their head and, and they're letting their mind um, just run rampant. Okay, there's one. Give me two more. There you go. Okay. So um, at the bottom of this deck is the coffin endings, um, bringing new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. Um, so yeah, you guys ended this relationship, um, but it doesn't mean that this is the end um, because I think sometimes when um, endings happen, then so does new beginnings, right? Um, it, I also have the soulmate card. Um, soulmate connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. And I think this is why this person is in their head because they felt that they felt this connection. They felt it very strong. And so that you, um, so it scared the, you know, what out of them and it has them in their head trying to think, um, am I good enough for this person? Because like I said, you may be, um, at an advantage in your life more so than they are. And, and that is really, really bothering them because they're thinking, can I really give this person what they need and deserve with me not being where I should be in life. So I think that's how they're feeling. Um, key, keys on a ring, many options, um, discussions, unconventional, um, string along one night stand. So this person is pretty much thinking that you have options, that you have options. And they think that because you have options and they're not where they should be, that you are going to um, take full advantage of those options and that you may one day leave them um, out in the cold. That's what I'm getting from this card. Okay. And then this um, card, uh, love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you um, and letting you know it. Yeah, so this person is definitely thinking about you. I think they're going to come to their senses and say, you know what? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's a soulmate connection. I'm just going to try to go for it, right? I'm not going to play any games with it. I don't know if I'm going to ever get this opportunity. And if I don't make some type of move, then I'm probably going to end up uh, losing Libra or the cross watcher. Um, this may be their um, way that they're feeling. So let me get some tarot on it, um, Libra. Spirit, if you would give me more information regarding um, Libra's person on the cut in their head in their head and uh, this knight of swords so they want to rush in and let you know how they feel but they are up in their heads trying to figure out how to do it but they're only keeping themselves confined it's just their own thoughts like you've done nothing to make them feel this way and on the cut the same thing the knight of swords wanting to rush in and offer you their cup of love but they don't know um how to do it they're up in their head they are up in their head, Libra. What did you do? I know you didn't do anything. It's just them. I can look at these cards and tell it's just them. All right. Let's see if we can get something else on this. All right. Show me how this person feels spirit about Libra. Show me how this person feels about Libra spirit. If you would, please show me how this person feels about Libra. Oh, there it is. It flipped, but I'm going to, that's how they feel. The King of Cups, this person, <laughs> this person loves you. This person loves you up oh, and I'll take those. I'll take those. I will take those. And at the bottom of the deck temperance at the bottom of the deck temperance. So uh, yeah. They're going to want to balance this stuff out. They're going to want to balance it out. Justice at the bottom of the deck also is a card of balance. This person wants to come in and they want to balance out the scales. They want to give a, even give and take in this relationship. Uh, they know that they have some shortcomings, but they're willing to take the risk to go all in because they know that this is a um, soulmate connection. Um, they, with the temperance card, is going to balance this situation. Um, they see you as the queen of wands. They see you as someone who has it all. Like you are beautiful. You are strong. You are confident. You know what you want. You have your head on straight. 
you are building a solid foundation for yourself. You have your eye on the prize with regard to um, your future. If you look at this queen of wands in this picture, whether you're male or female, you have everything to have the makings of a beautiful life. Okay. So you are standing strong in your power, legs crossed, not worried about a thing, waiting on um, your king to come in because you know your value and your worth. And I think this person knows it as well, which is why they are going to come in um, and be uh, the king of cups. Now, I would say I think that this person has done a lot of maturing in their thinking um, because originally they were very unsure. But now that they've been thinking about it, because it says um, I couldn't let you get too close. I can't stop thinking about you. Um, this person knows what this is and they are not willing to lose you, um, because they are in their heads. They're going to step to you, um, with an offer of love. Um, but here's the thing they're trying with this, um, two of pentacles to figure out how to do that. <laughs> they are juggling back and forth in their head, how they are going to make this happen because they are confused. They're confused. So let me see if I can get a little bit more tarot on this. Uh, two of swords, making a decision. They're going to make a decision. It's in the upright. This person is going to make a decision to come in and spill the beans and, uh, reclaim this relationship. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. Give me a little bit more tarot on this spirit, if you would, please. What is this person's next actions towards um, Libra? What is their next actions towards Libra? Give me three cards on their next action spirit. The star. The sun. And the king of wands. Yep. Divine counterparts. It is a soulmate connection. This person is going to come in and they are going to want to uh, make the situation right with the star and the sun and the upright. Um, hey, this is going to be a beautiful um, relationship once you guys can uh, bring it into balance. Now, I will tell you, um, they, the eight of uh, pinnacles is at the bottom of the deck. This person definitely wants to work on this with you. Um, I would say at this point, um, it doesn't matter who reaches out to who first. Um, but I think if Libra, you reach out to this person first, just make it very lighthearted because they definitely want to talk to you because they can't stop thinking about you, but don't put a whole lot of emotion into it. If you're going to reach out, just say, Hey, um, you were on my mind. Just thought about you. Hope you're doing well and leave it at that with no expectations, um, with no, um, motive just for the sheer fact of just you know, letting them know that you thought about them and that you hope they're doing well. So if they don't respond back immediately, don't worry about it because this is a soulmate connection. This person wants to work on it, but they're in their head about it. They're going to make this um, move, but just give them their time because keep in mind, we're dealing with someone who is a little scared. Um, so, um, that is all that I have for you today, Libra. I hope this helps. Um, if you enjoyed the read, please like share and subscribe and happy new year to you. Have a great one. Thanks.